This is the national anthem for American Otaku. <laughs> Fighting evil by moonlight. <laughs> Or Jedi. So get your sci fi playing on from Wookiee to playing on. We rock the Ewoks. <laughs> Lightsabers and photon torpedoes ready to go and give a lick until it ends up parrying on robot chicken. <laughs> Live long and prosper. Run your course. When geeks die, we enter the force. We do not fear invasions from the Martians or the Borg because these are not the droids you are looking for. <laughs> we are the geek. Hardcore gaming is all we seek. From honing noobs, boots, dames, they speak. Button mashing, rock band crashing. From the roots of Nintendo to Mario to Sega Genesis to Sega Dreamcast to Sega CD. To everything else Sega ever made. <laughs> to the Xbox One Nation under PlayStation. We've had our itty bitty wee knees on the TV. See? <laughs> Get a load of the invincibility cheat code and ain't game over until epic fail. You've lost the game. <laughs> No evasion of the zombie invasion. We've had our training for Left 4 Dead Rising. That is a must, and all your Grand Theft Auto are belong to us. Almost <laughs> <laughs> like EverQuest Gaia. Oh wow! Cross my Halo. Hope to die until you get shanked by the Team Fortress Spy. <laughs> Respawn in ten, nine, eight, seven. I'll just go back to Counter Strike already. <laughs> we are the geek. Without our dice, we're incomplete. Every winter enemas day, we lark, we tabletop roleplay, earning GP, HP, MP, drowning in our manacles from second edition old school rules. It's D&D. Level up or shut up. <laughs> Spellcasters and tanks, clerics and rogues moving up skill ranks. We are the geek. Praise the otaku, those anime freaks. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Manga buttons on our backpacks, Naruto pins on our cat ear hats. Magical schoolgirls and harems or shoujos, shonens will ever increase. The mechas will wreck us, the ninja will wing it for everyone else, there's a witch. <laughs> From Project Echo to Xeno Gears, Vampire Hunter to Grey Man, Darker than Black Lagoon. From Trigun to Sailor Moon. So let them glomp, let them cosplay, let them have their yaoi for schoolboys and fan subs, and the worst for for better. <laughs> we are the geek. We are underestimated, underpaid, and undermedicated. <laughs> if you will not live your dreams, then why get out of bed? If you won't live to love life, you're better off dead. You bet we own the internet. 
no longer weak. We were never weak. But standing together, we are all complete in each way unique. In all of his ways, she, you know that we cannot be beat, for we are the king! So I'm feeling a little bit better than a vampire in a blood drive at this point. Can I, uh, can I make a withdrawal? Do I get a discount if I use the same cup from before? Favorite drink is my motto, be positive. It's a blood pun, don't worry about it. Did anyone get the chance to see James Cameron's Avatar? Absolutely. That movie was just a little too visual. You can't make an entire movie in 3D. But every other visually impacting movie, in Titanic, The Matrix, Independence Day, like that's all in a little knife fight. James Cameron did not bring a gun to a knife fight with Avatar. James Cameron brought a gun dumb to a knife fight. It was very unfair for everyone else participating. Visually very pretty, but I liked Avatar better when the story was called Dances with Wolves. <laughs> I mean, this was Dances with Wolves with very tall, feral Smurfs. Let's be honest. I mean, this was Pocahontas with Night Elves. You're gonna tell me, no, the final fight looked like StarCraft invading Warcraft! Yeah, like, I'm lying. Look, well, let's, let's break this down. The, the main character, Jake Sully, spends the entire movie sitting in a chair in front of a computer, blogging about his make-believe life and friends that he's making just outside the door that he never leaves his house. What does he do? He, um, gains a mount. He joins a guild. Stages a raid, gains an epic mount. All through his avatar. James Cameron, you are now a blizzard joke. Thank you, I expect a statue erected within the hour. I'm not narcissistic, I'm too awesome. I'm that. I want to talk a little bit about that crazy outside world that's going on outside of the, the normal things, outside of the geekdom. 